to another edition of How Do I Know You with Carl Gilliard, and that's me. So today, you know, you guys are in for a special treat. I am excited about today's guest because, well, we're going to get into that for a second. I am not going to give him an introduction. He's going to just come in. We're going to kick it, talk about how we know each other, and then go from there. But you got a hint because you saw that intro to that legendary TV show that most of us over, well, today you still would know it because it's still on TV today. So I'm sure some of you, all of you know what it is. So without further ado, welcome to the stage, my friend, my brother, Mr. Ernest Lee Thomas. Hey, hey, hey. how are you, Mr. Carl Gilliard, sir? Sir Carl Gilliard. Okay. Sir Carl Gilliard, the actress, actor. <laughs> so they say, so they say. So you must have gotten the check. Oh, uh, that. <laughs> Appreciate you, man, for being here, man. Yes, brother. Thank you. How are you feeling? Well, I appreciate you having me, first of all. Thinking of me. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get into why I'm so honored uh, in a moment, but how you doing, first of all? I'm doing great. Yes, brother. Yeah. My first Mother's Day without mom, so that was tough. But, you know, I have so many memories, and she... Uh, her faith never wavered in Christ, so she reminded me, like, when I go, baby, don't cry too much, right? Don't don't miss me too much, because he's first. He's first and foremost. And that's what she is. She's with the Father right now. Oh, that's, that's right. It. That's the comforting thing right there. Yeah. And right. happy Mother's Day to your mother. Yes, yes. I saw photos of her on the... I haven't met her in person yet, I don't believe. No. But I saw the photos of her with you, so I just wanted to say happy Mother's Day to her. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, you and I are blessed in, in that we, you know, got to a certain level in our age, and we still had our parents. I mean, you know, for most of our lives. I'm yes. Oh, can I ask you? Is it too personal? How old are you? Seventy four. Seventy four. Well, I had her all that time. Yeah, seventy four um, years old. Yes. Yeah. yeah, just turned seventy four March. 26. Okay. So we're, yeah. we're basically in the same realm. I'm, my birthday's April 18th. Um, okay. Oh, all right. Yeah. You're Aries too. I okay. Am. All right. That's it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so you know, as you as you know, the name of this show is uh, How Do I Know You? And the reason why I came up with this name, I don't know, you may laugh at this, but people always say to me, you know, you know everybody, or everybody knows you, and I, yeah. I think it's just, you know, kind of my little Forrest Gump entry into the world. Yeah. I feel like I'm kind of like this um, on the wall. I get to meet all these great people along the way of my yes. journey, of my journey. Yeah. So, do you know how we met? Now I'm thinking Don was it Don B. Walters' yeah, it play? Was. Right. Okay. Right. It wasn't his play. It was. Uh, we've actually been in each other's presence before. Yes. But the time we actually met, remember he did this uh, uh, actors thing over at uh, Vanessa Bell Calloway's place. Oh, that man, I forgot all about Regency that. Regency West, yes. That's right. That's where That's I was what... actually meeting you, was there. Oh, yes, okay, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Because that's been how many years now? That's been at least... Yeah, four, four years, five years. You know, maybe I tell you what, I was married to my wife then, so it has to be between five and six years, maybe. You know. Okay. Yes. 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 But that's where it was. Okay. okay. And and you know, after that point, I've been blessed to just come into your presence. You you're such a supportive and kind person. Thank you know, you. And I think that's really the, the, you know, the love of God just coming through as you meet people and you just encourage people. And it's just wonderful because, you know, you are a legend. Oh, thank you, brother. And um, you. for me, having, I know you put this, let me just ask you this. So what's happening? What's happening now? Yeah. yeah. Are you tired of talking about that? No, uh, uh, you know, I as a, there was a time when when I was typecast right, right after the show, you know, when they think that's all you can do and all you can do is come, you know, that that thing, it, it I was resentful for a minute, you know, but not I wasn't angry at I guess I I was 
but not really when people would say, hey, Raj, but you've created this character, right? And I loved it while I was on the show, right? right? But when the show ended and you can't get no work, you can't put, you know, you can't bring a check in. You can't right. get that check, right? Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me. No, my name is not Raj. Uh, I know you mean well, but my name. And so Muhammad Ali heard me. He said, man, what are you doing? Don't you dare insult the people like that. Oh, excuse me. My name ain't Raj. He said, <laughs> he said no, you. And he would call me Raj. <laughs> All the time, introduce me to Michael Jackson as Raj, oh, Sigourney Leonard as Raj. You know, everybody. So he says, you should be thankful to God that I, all the people on this earth, right? Mm -hmm. You were in the public eye being watched by 50 million people that because there was only four, four, four networks on at the time. And when people see you, they get happy. They get they joyous. See, you bring back great memories. So yeah. what the hell, you know, what are you doing? You yeah. Know? Yeah. That's the thing. And uh, well, that's a, that's a really a proper attitude to have because there are people who don't feel that way. I, you know, I don't hope I'm not outing her, but I did a play with Kim Fields years ago. Okay. In fact, it was Kim Fields and Tommy Ford was in this play. Tommy Ford directed it. Oh uh, man. Uh, great uh, Tommy Ford, Kim Fields, Wendy Raquel Robinson. Yes. Uh, a lot of great actors in this play. And Kim Fields, uh, did not like being called Tootie. Oh, yes. Oh. Didn't like that. Yes. Yeah, I, all, call her Tootie. That really would piss her off. Oh, I understand. I yeah. do. I, understand. I don't know if she feels that way now because she's moved on and done other things. Like Right, that. right. Exactly. But, but Directing time, and all that too, yeah. Mm -hmm. At that time, she wasn't uh, very happy for you to call her Tootie. So since yeah. we're on the subject of, of uh, 70s and, and 80s actors, did you have uh, a relationship with some people like Kim Fields, who was on Facts of Life, and others who were on TV at that time? Did you guys have any sort of relationship? Did you oh, yeah. Kim was uh, the little, she was a little, little, you know, she before she had Facts of Life, it was another show with Damon Wilson. And um, Damon Wilson and uh, Denise Nicholas, but it didn't last long because the, 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 the mom was making demands, which I'm sure he regretted later. But anyway, it was a hit. It was like it, it came out. It was the mom and Denise Nicholas and 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 Kim tearing it up with this little child, this this owning the, that role, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, next thing you know, uh, it, it was gone. So that's mm -hmm. when I first met her, and then I did meet her in the facts of life when she had to get the breast reduction because she was so huge there. Right, right. And I was talking to her mother about it and she said, and, and, um, uh, but I always, always just told us, you are just incredible. You know, you just, just in the, the just uh, then Emmanuel Lewis, who I just saw when I was in Atlanta, uh, I saw, I saw him when he was on, on Webster mm -hmm. and I met him. We were actually driving, and he was in the car with his parents, and he saw me. He was just going like, "Hey, Sam!" He was just going crazy like that. And I was a fan. I thought he was the cutest kid ever. So I <laughs> said, "Oh, stop the car!" We got <laughs> this is so in I, Atlanta. Uh, uh, no, that was back then, way back. Okay. We, uh, yeah, when way yeah, God, when he was on Webster, he was actually mm -hmm. on Webster. At okay. Time. And I literally picked him up, and his mother and father, "Oh, don't y'all spoil him! Don't pick him." <laughs> I said no, but I want to pick. <laughs> and then Todd Bridges, uh, Todd or Betty, especially when Todd was, you know, going through some issues. Now he's born again, but oh, she was asking me to look after him, you know. So it with Todd was another one that I was was with uh, in touch with, and um, I'm trying to see who else during that time. What about the Good mm -hmm. Times crew? Uh yeah, uh well at that Jimmy Walker and I didn't get along then. That was on his he was having some issues. Right. Uh but but we're you know it took uh because Shirley wanted us to meet. Mm -hmm. It was on the same set, on the same lot. But he just was, you know, really being an a-hole and would not speak, you know, uh just didn't want to speak. So then I'm like, F you too, you know. So <laughs> then, <laughs> then uh, uh, later, I think maybe it had to be maybe 
20 years later, probably, at some event. And he had done a dramatic role with Debbie Allen. He was playing some basketball player based on a true story. Really? Jimmy Walker? Uh huh. A, a dramatic role. Debbie okay. Allen. Look it up. I don't know the name of it. It was a TV movie of the week. And he did a good job. So I said, I was at this charity event in North Carolina, and I said, hey, man, I just want to say you did a good job. And he says, uh, well, yeah, whatever. And then I said, you know, I said, you know, MF, <laughs> I said, I'm so sick and tired of you. And then my daddy, he kind of looked like, oh, man, I'm sorry. I'm just going through some things, you know, right. I appreciate it like that. Then we were fine from then on. We were fine. You know, you know um, you know, I um, okay, Jimmy Walker, and I was gonna ask you about this anyway, so I can kind of yes together. So those Sidney Portier, Bill Cosby comedies, um, uh, those are so memorable to me. I still watch them today, aren't they? Yeah, and 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 you you were in a uh, piece of the action, right? Yes, yes. And, and he was in Let's Do It Again, and that Let's Do It Again with him and John Amos, and oh, just Denise. I Oh, brother, Us. that's to me. Oh my God. That's oh, the wow. one. I'm sorry. I love pizza, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Jimmy Walker, they slayed that. All of them. Like, <laughs> I, I yield. My ego is not. Cr- hey, I'll give it up. I'm not lying. I think, yeah, but that one, oh my Lord. Come on. You know what? I like yours too. Thank you. So thank I, like you. I did too, I mean, but. Uh, because you know that whole classroom with you and uh, Shirley Ralph. Yes, and, uh, yes, yes. With Bill Cosby and Portier, they're just classics. Yeah, absolutely. Classics. That was yeah. before. Was that was that before what's happening or after? During, uh, during. Was yeah, okay. yeah. I was in the hiatus because I I was taking you know you know the, when we take our little break from filming, and so um, my friend wanted me to go with him. He's had an audition for Piece of the Action. So I went with him to kind of coach him on the role as he as he went along. And then Sydney saw me sitting out there and said, Hey, are you here? I said, Oh no, I'm I'm on hiatus. He went, You don't want to be in a film. <laughs> you don't want to be in a film with me? And like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying. I then I, I went, uh, yeah, oh yeah, of course. It's like that, man. but uh, he was. But I was in so in such an awe of him, right? right. And uh, but he still had me to audition. He didn't just give it to me. Right, right. He had me to audition. Then he went, okay, I like, it. okay, you got the role. And then he says, you know, I'm a fan of, you know, I, I'm a fan of what's happening. I said, Mr. Portier, sir, you don't have to do that. You don't watch what's happening. I, you already got me, all right? You already got me. <laughs> you, you, you. But you know, wait, wait a minute, though. So but he did watch he, it. He did. I was about to say, yeah, yeah. he had to watch it to recognize yeah. you, right? Yeah, no, he he started demonstrating a scene. He actually acted it out in front of me where Raj is saying, the girl is saying, hey, Raj, I heard you're a cool guy. Right, Are right. you a cool guy? And I said, uh, cool, you got changed with Ice Cube, and so, <laughs> that, and so I, that's what he did. Then I went, Oh, no way, no way, you hey, man. And he did. Nose watching. That's what he showed. Your nose watching, Ernest. Yes, I had no Carl, I would never have thought. What like why would he watch that? You know, like and again, I love, I love, I don't like, I love what's happening. I think it's great. I love piece of the action. I think it's great. But I have to say, certain other shows, I just really like. I said, uh, the one with um, what Jimmy Walker did with Bill Cosby and all them, um, that particular. Yeah. Th- let's do it again. Mm-hmm. I think Denise Nichols is in rare form. Uh, Cosby was in rare form. There's another young lady too that was married. She passed away. Was another actress was married to Sydney's character. Yes, I believe. Yes, her name was Lee. Oh man! Right, you know what I'm talking about, right? I mean, talking about the short hair. Yes, like, another. Her name, her name was Lee. I can't remember Lee's last name. Yes. Yeah. Like, all of them. Just everybody. This on John Amos was in that too. Oh, right? John Amos was and Calvin <laughs> Lockhart. <laughs> right. Oh my, Calvin, Calvin <laughs> right. oh my god. Oh my god. 
brother. Yeah, Come on. that's a great cast. But I, you know, I enjoy your film as well. Like, you know, yeah. I, 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 you know, full disclosure, I had the biggest crush on Shirley Ralph. Ooh. I didn't know who she was, but the minute I saw her in that movie. I was like, oh, brother, we all <laughs> did. I'm telling you, still to this day, mm -hmm. I saw her uh, I mean, a few years ago. She asked me, her son wanted to interview me mm -hmm. for his college project. And I went over there. I'm like, oh, my goodness. You still, you look so good. Yeah. You know, yeah. she still got those cute dimples. Mm -hmm. And people forget, man, Shirley Ralph is a beast in every way. Like she graduated the top of her class from Rutgers University at an early age, by the way. Mm -hmm. So she's an intellectual giant into, yeah. in addition to being this creative super diva, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I, I, I have met Shirley Ralph, have I? I don't think I ever have, but you know what's really funny? I did, um, I had a, a 60th birthday party some years ago. And Niecy Nash is a friend of mine. And so my daughter Ooh, reached wow. out and, and had people send me birthday greetings. And um, Niecy sent in a birthday greeting from Claus. Oh, and wow. It was nice. Niecy. I she love her. Out, Jimmy, love her. Jimmy uh, John Louise and um, and Harold Perrineau. The, the wow. four of them. Yes, the yes. Family, which was really kind of cool. But I don't think I've ever met her, even though we're like connected on social media. Yes, I yes. I've never, never met her, but I'm a, I'm a huge fan. And me too. I, yeah. I still am. Even though we work together, I still am. Yeah. So speaking of uh, background, we, we're going to kind of go backward because I know you were okay. born in the West. You were born in Gary, correct? Yes, yes. Yeah, you know I'm from Chicago, right? No. Originally from Chicago, I am. Re now, were you born, born there? I was born there. I lived there until I was 12 years old. And then I moved to Detroit when I was 12. I did and not know that, Carl. I did Mr. not know Nate, that, man. And then, you know. Yeah. Wherever. Oh, my goodness. So, Gary, so when did you, how long were you and Gary your whole childhood? Or Yeah, born and raised there until I went to college. Uh, what school? Uh, in Indiana State University. Oh, okay. In Terre Haute, Indiana. Uh, well, they know... Larry Bird is with that. Yeah, well, I know. Brother. I know the school very well because my school is Michigan State, and we kicked that bootay. <laughs> so I, I know. I know Indiana State. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kick that Indiana oh, State. Okay. 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 Oh, yeah. oh, I remember that like it was yesterday, man. Oh my lord. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And, yeah. and where, so did you? So. Did you go? Uh, did you major in, in in drama or theater in in college? No, I was a sociology major, uh, psychology minor. You know, but but I, um, I I was curious about it. Not, no, I really, I just I love movies since I was even though Pentecostal, we wasn't supposed to look at movies. I, I snuck and did it anyway. The oh, Church of God in Christ. You were, oh, you was, really? Oh, coaching, oh keep baby. Going, keep going. That's my background. Okay. To be all right. So we, I would sneak and go to all that time as a kid. I would go and they were real cheap. So when I got to Indiana State, there was a film called uh, Romeo and Juliet. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, Michael Zeffirelli. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I fell in, and I just would go and watch that. I don't know why I fell in love with the language of Shakespeare and all that. Just loving it as, as, a, as an audience, right? And uh, and loving the role of the prince in particular, like I don't know, I just wanted to be that. And so my friend Jake Smith, um, uh, who's still in Gary now, but uh, he's the one that you know I would you know I act silly. I like you know I love make still today. My greatest thing is making people happy, right? So. Uh, with my friend Jake, I just wanted to make him laugh all the time. And he was a uh, army veteran. He was two years older than me. He was my fraternity brother's older brother, but he just took like he just adopted me. He said, "You're an actor." He was the one. I never wanted to be an actor ever. Seriously, I love watching them and all of them. Like I could never do that. Right. But he was the one that said I could, and then the rest is I started. You know, but I never. Uh, it wasn't a major. I took a class in it. I did get an A in that class, 
the teacher did say, uh, he was a redhead white guy. He says, you know, you could do this for a living. I went, oh, no. <laughs> like, yeah, that's, that's cute, right? I'm going to be a social worker. But, yeah, thank you anyway. But, um, but you don't know when you fall in love. You know, falling in love, brother. I had no idea. And I, I was one man alone. Because when you fall in love like that and nobody else sees that picture, because my mother and everybody knows I'm going to be a social worker and that's it. Anyway, um, I, I, I was just a student of it and a fan of everybody. I could tell you about everybody out there, every actor. Who, was uh, your, who, who were two of your famous, uh, two of your favorite actors? Well, you know, it got to be Sidney Poitier was definitely one because Sidney, I watched as, a, you know, again, that's why he had to get on me for staring at him on the set. You know, hey, 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 snap out of it. <laughs> you would do that? I would because I would just be, you know, literally, I'm not lying because I'm like, I'm thinking of, you know, uh, all the films he did, you know, before I met him. Right. And the black and white lilies of the field. How is it possible, Lord? God, how is it possible? Yeah, I'm pinching myself. Am I really in this? So anyway, um, but him uh, definitely. Um, uh, I love Al Pacino. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, Marlon Brando and the, the people you might say. Well, of course those. But um, uh, and then uh, I. Well, definitely. I was Al Pacino at one time was the one. He was. I was in such awe that I couldn't go and meet him when I had a chance to, because the guy at the Bank of America, he he knew the guy that that interviewed people from the Playboy magazine. You know, they was they always had an artist. So he said, "Hey, man, I know how much you love Pacino. I asked the guy, could you, could, you know, ask Pacino, could you meet?" And he said, "Yes, I couldn't go. I couldn't go." Over. So that's how much I was in awe. Of, of Al Pacino but uh, so at that time it was definitely Brando De Niro wasn't on the scene yet you know at that time but back then definitely and George C. Scott right because he had won for Patton and I saw Phil, I saw the film 71 I want to say I'm not sure what year it was it 69 it was back then uh, six, I think 60, 69 I think okay. so mm -hmm. uh, uh, and so and having a chance to meet George C. Scott you know did you meet him yeah, I auditioned for a play. He was married to a young, this his new wife at that time, and he they did a lot. They did several films together. You know, he was really in love with her, so he was doing plays with her. He was doing movies, and when I came in to audition for him, um, I did my thing, and he said, and he just kept staring at me, and and he wouldn't say. And he said, yeah, okay, uh, thank you, though, thank you, like that. Then I left, then then they said, and I was leaving, then someone said, no, hey, hey, hey George, I want to see you again. Mm -hmm. And I went, he wants to see me again? And like, <laughs> he like, so you go back then. He says, he said, okay, let me just look at you. He's, yeah, see, it. you just too, you wouldn't, you're, you're, you're supposed to be my wife's lover, and right. you look too young. It just wouldn't work, you know. But, but that's the only reason uh, that I didn't choose you, you know. So that was that was something, yeah. And, and I and I watched him in Death of a Salesman. You know, I would go in New York and and, and watch me with eight people. I'm not lying. My classmates, so I was crazy. But as a student, I would go and watch eight times a play. You know, get my little monies. I would get my last dime. Cause you could do standing room, you can do the, you know, they had those for students where you could attend. I would go and see, I, I've seen Death of a Sales, I think at least eight to 10 times uh, of Mice and Men with of James Earl Jones, probably the same thing. Cause he, no one knows how great he was in of Mice and Men. No one has I any know, idea. I, I didn't even know he did of Mice and Men. Oh, Carl. Never see, Roger, is, is it on YouTube somewhere? Or do you know? Anything? I don't. Yeah, it was a place. I don't, that that time they didn't yeah. tape them like they were doing now. And I told him that, and he was so shocked that I knew. He said, "Oh my God, you're an archivist, right?" <laughs> right, right. I said, "Oh my God, man, that moment when you was on, and he was about to shoot you, and the uh, the order, and we all cry." But yeah, him and. Uh, 
uh, Angela Lansbury in in Gypsy, you know, uh, Maggie Smith. You know, I was I was a huge fan of Maggie Smith. Uh, nobody cared what I thought because no one would talk. Uh, no, when I would tell people, they wouldn't mention. But she was in. Um, oh God, that once she won her first Oscar, uh, and it was on one of those artsy film from England, mm -hmm. uh, The Prime of Miss Jean Brody. Yeah, I remember that. That wasn't an Oscar winner. Yeah, she won an Oscar. She yeah, won. Yeah, I and she that. didn't. Yeah, and I went. I knew she should, you know, I was, <laughs> but I went to see that a bunch of times because you learn, you know, it's an acting class, mm. you know, especially the women because they don't hold back as much, you know, and, and men kind of hold back, but the win, women let go of all the emotions, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, I saw James O. Jones and Fences, um, and, you know, I'm teaching an acting class here in Atlanta. Yes, and, yes. Uh, and I was talking about this just last night because I've got two two fences scenes up between two different uh, scenes in the play in my, my class. Yeah. And, um, when I saw James O. Jones do fences, I had never seen anything like it in terms of, you know, we know he's a great actor from the movies he's done and all that. But his stage thing, his stage game is just a whole nother level, which I think that you know. Carl. Uh, yes, brother. I saw it too. I know. I, brother, again, I had to see that. I think I saw that three times. Mm -hmm. And Courtney Vance. Yep. You know, was, uh, and, but I didn't see Mary Alice. She, I missed her. It was always the understudy. But even the understudy, I can't think. She's a light skinned actress who was brilliant too. I saw Lynn Hickman. Uh, did, did, is that who you saw? Oh, uh, maybe that's yeah. Maybe that's the way. I, well, I thought uh, Mary Alice was not doing the role. I saw it. Saw it in L.A. and I forgot what year it was, but it was Lynn Thickpen. Oh, that's what. Then okay, that's who I saw. That I couldn't think of the actress's name, but but you're she's right. Great. Yeah, she's great. She's great. <sighs> but so you, but by the way, buddy, you are brilliant, and, and I can say I was a little jealous, you know, in a good way. <laughs> I tell people there's good jealousy, like when I see Glenn Turman. I was so Glenn. I said, you're so underrated. You know, people yeah. don't realize his career. Yeah. But I don't have that jealousy in the sense of I want someone hurt. I I, I, I want, I wish they would, so I could get the, well, not that. It's like, I would, I said, man, I'm so jealous. You was so good. I would say, I think that there is good jealousy. And I remember I first saw you, I, it was like, it was like a Thai French. I think it was in something, a Thai French play. Oh, I don't, I don't think. Did I you do a French, play with Thai French? Not that the I character in one of her plays. I don't think so. I know. No, Tom. Oh, they made it then within Don. Was it was, it was it, it, that it, it, the play I did with Don where I played? Um, you um, said Wilshire uh, Ebel. Yes, it was. It was the uh, uh, the sweet sweet Lucy's Love Lounge. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. I'm not. I I, I just because Don told me uh -huh. you were the actor's actor. That's how oh. I got. Don told me that. Yeah, and then I, I'm sitting. I said, uh, uh. <laughs> Okay, yeah, he, he's pretty good there. <laughs> I am but, humble. But, but yeah, but I can, but I give it up. You know, I love to see great actors. Yeah, man, you know, I, I know I don't have it. We ain't got a, we, don't, we ain't got all the talent, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. But right. I always saw Glenn. I, I went to see Glenn and Ma Rainey's a couple of times when he at the Armisen, you know. Uh, Glenn I want to see that him. because I'm just a fan of good act. You know, I don't. I, I don't want to pay my own money. I don't want you giving no comp. You know, mm -hmm. I love the support. Like your school, I was so happy to see that. I said, "Oh, I know that's going to birth some great talent for the yeah. millennium. Well, I know well, you're going to birth some great talent from that, brother." Well, you know, my my wife is the one who pushed me to that one. I mean, I've been private coaching kind of on the down low for a long time. And uh, we got here and saw an opportunity. And so we started this class. But uh, let me just pivot back to Glenn for a okay. second. Because, because Glenn Turman, he's probably sick of me saying this. He's another example of my kind of Forrest Gump, Where's Waldo life. Yes. Because, um, Glenn, if I were to name any one person, now when I was coming up, I loved Sidney Poitier, obviously. 
Yes, yes. Sean Connery, because I was a big James Bond fan. Yes, oh yes. And and, and Jack Lemon, I was a huge Oh fan. yes, oh yes, absolutely. Huge. Absolutely. But it wasn't until I saw Cooley High in nineteen seventy five, somewhere around there, that the light went on my head and said, I want to do that. And it was looking at Glenn, and I saw myself. Oh, that inspired you. Oh, yeah. wow. so, so, but then you know, cats like you and other people also fed. Yeah, me. yes, but yes. That I said, you know, this guy is just amazing. And then yes. when I was in L.A. years later, I remember I saw him at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, and I saw him. I was like, oh my god, it was like seeing. I was like, this is freaking Glenn Turman. I got to talk to him. Yes. So I went over to him and I started talking to him about, you know, my whole experience. He didn't seem to be interested. <laughs> 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 then I went to a taping of a uh, different world. And because a friend of mine was on the show, AJ Sanders. Okay. And, and I, I saw him again and I went down and told the whole same story. He looked like he was not interested. <laughs> but, here's, but here's what happened. Okay. Do you remember Mike, Mike and Jackway? Do you remember? Him? Yes, yes. So Mike and Jackway did a play called, uh, oh man, I'm drawing a blank. Oh gosh, I'm drawing a blank. But Art Evans directed it. Okay. Um, it was Glenn Turman, Vanessa Bell Calloway in this play. And I got to work with Glenn Turman in a play. Oh. And that was what, it was at the Zephyr Theater in Hollywood. That was what, I guess, sort of solidified me and Glenn. And I love it. And I went on stage, and I'm working with Glenn on stage. I come off stage, and he said to me something like, I am so proud of you. You were so good out there. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, my. So, yes. I was Seeing done. is believing, baby. I right. was done. Oh, wow. And, so, and then the other thing I learned from Glenn from working with him, and I'm sure you can relate to this from being yes. on stage. Every single night, he did something different. Every night, it was a different choice. It was something fresh every yes. single night. Yeah. And I learned, you know what? It's not just about learning lines. It's not just about, you know, you know, getting your behavior together and doing a performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the moment. Yes. And, and trusting. Yes. You're in the moment because you've done your work. Yes. It comes out, it's going to work. And that's what I learned from him. What do you right. think about that in terms of, you know, as a craftsman yourself? Because you're masterful of what you do. Like your Malcolm X work, although yeah. I don't hear people talking about that much. Yeah. But I loved you and Malcolm Thank, X. Thank you. Yeah. Thank so you. so what, what are your thoughts about this, what I just said? Oh, I've been in the, in the moment. And, and not saying oh, it. Yeah. Say, well, Denzel actually got on. Uh, he was saying that to me on the set. Uh, that. What's you know, that? Was, oh, that's what I'm Malcolm, Malcolm, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, go that, that, you know, about it being, you know, because I was, since Spike approved of the first take, I just kept doing it. Like, and I, and then he told me, he says that, you know, you don't, you don't have to, he says the thing about it, you want to be free. Yeah, yeah, you know that works, but you want to just be in the moment, mm -hmm. however it comes as that character. Yes. You know? Just That's be right. in the moment, you know, and, and that, you know, the perfection that you're achieving, you're trying to do is boring. But perfection is boring, you know, because it's, it's, it's so it ain't it ain't there. It ain't in the moment. Yeah, it, it will look great to the pub, but you, for you to get more out of it, for you to really free yourself is just to be there, just to be present. And don't worry about it. You know, am I going to get that, you know, hit the mark? All that that's gonna because all that I'm not gonna hit the mark. And they told me to make sure that the thing, the light, it'd be over here. But just focus on being that in 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 the moment. But but just doing plays, I just automatically did that. I just would change up to the one the director uh, cussed me out because <laughs> the director of when I did um, the. Uh, uh oh god um member of the wedding at the helen hayes theater and uh, the director went out of town and i did the thing what i wanted i i felt there was something i don't know i wanted to do i just saw something else 
and I had, and that was when Glenn Close was in that, Mary wow. Beth, Mary Beth Hurt, and, and they were crying, you know, God play Honey Camden Brown, and they were crying, they were, Ernie, man, that, that one there, what, 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 man, what are you doing? Like, but he happened to come back a little early and caught that and made me go back to the way I was doing it. And cussed me off. I think he called me an MF and a lot of bunch of things. Yeah, he, yeah. He no, he did. He really like. How dare you? Who in the hell do you think you are? Oh. But uh, but yeah, I try to. Cause you're doing eight shows a week too mm-hmm. now. You know, people. You know, and, and and I have to give it up to us as 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 you know we came up the hard way people on we we were acting with no net you know mm-hmm. you you're you on a um you on a tightrope with no net and there's all kind of stuff that you can hurt yourself on down there right, right. and we dare get on stage and, and, and no uh, okay stop okay you can do it over cuz you can get an oscar you know from a film if you done done 50 takes on each scene mm-hmm. people don't know that right yeah but we dare, and that's on most movie stars, God bless them, they ain't gonna dare touch that stage. That's right. All right? We're the ones, brother. We're the ones. We get out on that stage with no net, brother, and it's sink or swim. You but know? it's so exhilarating, though. I mean, there's nothing like it. You nothing come like stage, it. Stage, yes. it's, just, it's such a sense of accomplishment. Yes, uh, yes. It's just like, it's like a high. Yes. You know? Yeah. I oh, love brother. It. On stage. Isn't it high? I told you, it's greater than any sex. You know, I mean, I might have made one, uh, one, okay, but most sex. <laughs> it's greater than most of them, right? But I, re- I remember when it, when it happened, the first time it happened, I felt like I was in a, a an out of body experience mm-hmm. where it's no longer me. I knew the but character. Because it's almost like when you're done, and you you just said it, when you're done, it's like it was a dream. It's like you yes. don't remember. Yes. You know? Yes. That's, that's the feeling. Yes, brother. Oh, mm-hmm. my Lord. Brother? Woo! I mean, yes. you know, I have, I, you know, I got more stuff that I didn't even, <laughs> didn't even get to, like your book from Rags to Riches. I'm going to talk to you about that. So oh, real, okay. So real, real quickly. Um, oh, okay. Our time is up, huh? Yeah, yeah. I just want, <laughs> but I want you to talk about the book in closing. Okay. okay. Then I want you to talk about what you got coming up next. Okay. And then the last thing I want you to tell us is how can we connect? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I do have a book from Raj to Riches. Uh, wow. It's in its, uh, yeah. From Raj from Ra- to, Rich- to Riches, and it's a testimony of faith because all this is through Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, brother. When I got what's happening, I remember I was so depressed because so many people were trying, like 200 actors were up for it. And I, it, it, you don't know, it was a guy who I thought was so much, so much, so much more talented, tall, handsome guy, like a Jim Carrey, very animated face. And I went, I have no talent after seeing this guy, right? So, <laughs> so I just all the, the ah, oh, the just the the anxiety and the, so so uh, it's really just thanking God, man, you know. Um, because you know all that worry for nothing. By the way, put God first, brother. Let He said, "Don't worry." He really, you really, it's no need to worry. So uh, uh, that and uh, so anyway, what I'm doing now that's that's on Amazon and all that. Uh, I have a, the new book that I'm working on as we speak is a more completion. All because that book was kind of rushed, um, uh, but this one because what's happening now. Playing hooky from God. That's the next book. Mm-hmm. And what I'm doing now is uh, we I just shot six episodes of the animated version of Everybody Hates Chris. I heard about that. Yes, everybody still hates Chris. That's what it's <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. And um, uh, Sanjay Shaw is the is the incredible producer showrunner with this and books. You know, Chris and Ali Leroy are involved mm-hmm. and. Um, uh, so Miss Miss Omar looking pretty sharp as my animated character. I, I, I got I got a gold tooth, as a matter of fact. Oh Love yeah, it. 
I love I'm playing, it. playing. Okay, all right. <laughs> and then I got, then I'm doing a series. Uh, I'm a recurring role in uh, uh, Diara from Diara from Detroit. Okay, hold. Um, I guess stop for a second. Guess what? I know you are this. I, you, you that you role. I saw. Did I tell you that? <laughs> yeah, you told. Yeah, you told me. <laughs> I said, I, I, I put, got me on that. Yeah, one. I put some scenes. Uh, I was on the set. I took, and you went, "Hey, congratulations!" By the way, I <laughs> 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 went, "Oh man, okay." <laughs> But uh, yeah, so that uh, the the two episodes of that waiting for you know waiting for that, and uh, but they can find me on um, uh, Ernest Lee Thomas. You know, I know I've been Ernest Thomas, Ernest L. Thomas, but I'm using the complete name Ernest Lee Thomas on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, all those, you know, and I do answer because I meet actors all the time and I promise God because I was so miserable. Nobody would help me at all. When I got here in 75, I cried rivers of tears and said, God, if you give me my this shot, I will always give it back. I will. So I do. I'm coming from Walgreens. I'm in Vons. I tell them, oh, here, here's the email or I even meet them at a, at a Starbucks. Right. Because in case they're crazy, you ain't going to kill me. OK. <laughs> all right. So I said, I'll meet you at Starbucks and I'll give the, the mother and the son and daughter whatever. I said, look, I'm not God. I can only tell what I know. But I think, you know, you pray on it. God will give you a strategy tailor made to you. Right. But I'm just telling you, I can give you what I know. So I love doing that. It's no greater thing than what you're doing, you know, is, is helping uh, guiding the, the without art. The world is dead, you know. God knew what he was doing when he created us. Without us, I know people say, oh, yeah, you got a job. Like, No, we don't. You know, Yeah, I'm not saying we're better than you, but there's no other job in the world with a channel or spirit than exercise that spirit and try to be normal and have a wife and the kids and, and go to Starbucks. You know, we have to channel spirit. So you're a serial killer. When that camera comes to Carl Gilliard's eyes, he got to look like he would kill somebody, right? No one has, we, no one else has to do that but us, right? So we are, and without us, you know, we are the light, you know, I mean, of course, God and all. But next to that, without artists, there's the world is dark, you know. Thank God for acting. Thank God for acting schools like yours. You're birthing. We need new bright stars and celebrity great for the artists for the for the millennium, you know. So I'll, without us, the world is the world is a dull place. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was just telling my class uh last night that that what we do is spiritual. Yes. And we lay in I always say this why they, they that's why we get the big bucks. It's because we are pulling up stuff that's real. Come on. That that, that no one else can touch or do. Thank you. Camera no less. And when we're done with it, we have to reset ourselves. Because Come we're on. living that. Come so on. If we're, if we're a, a serial killer, if we are a murderer, yes. if we are whatever we are, yes. it's real to us. It's perfect. Yes. Yes. And who does that? Who does that? Right mind. <laughs> <laughs> right, and that's why you know we couldn't be buried in the Jewish or the Christian cemeteries. That's why the Actors Fund was started, the Motion Picture Fund was started because they would not bury us. They thought we were demonic, mm -hmm. you know, that because we could go on stage and be like the husband, uh, then we can be the syrup, then we can be the rapist, then we can be, you know, we can be funny. So they really thought now they idolize us and you imagine. But people don't understand. They said the reason there is the actors fund. We take care of our own in motion picture. We take care of our own because the church and the synagogues rejected us, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, because we do channel like who does that? Who does? You know. Who and that? thank you, and I, all the great actors, and I God bless your class. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing all of them do. I don't know how many you got, but all those that come through, I'm asking God to give you supernatural blessings. Um, you know, that, yeah, that it just grows and grows and grows. And man, I just uh, appreciate that. Uh, I have a lot of beginners in my class. I have a couple of experienced people, but 
they're really hardworking people who want to really get into this thing and, and do it the right way. Yeah. So I'm grateful that God would bring them to me and hopefully, you know, we can make some things happen for them. So yeah. Ernest Lee Thomas, my friend. <laughs> Carl Gilliard, Carl sir, Madden. Carl Gilliard. Thank you, man, for coming Thank on. Uh, I'm going to probably put this on, well, we're looking at putting it, it's like on Roku, but I'm definitely going to put them up on, um, on YouTube. Okay. So you know uh, when they come on out, I'll let you know and send it Please, to you. Okay. But I, yeah. man, I'm so indebted to you for doing this. And my wife yeah, is a well. big fan of yours. You know I love. Oh come now, you know, <laughs> Tanya. You know I love, that's my sister forever. She yeah. knows I love her. Yes, yes, yes. So man, God bless you, man. God, God bless, bless all you. that you're doing, and I'll be looking for your next big thing. Thank and I'm you. always a fan, my brother. Okay. Thanks. Oh, and congratulations to you being your daughter being getting married yes. to look like a great young man. So she I want to say, fantastic. All right. All right. And she's doing so well. So I'm very, yeah. very, very proud of her and yeah. happy for her and her new husband. So thank yes. you, for being there, my brother. Yeah. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna shock you. I'm gonna end up with something that you probably don't expect to see. So okay. Thomas, thank you for coming on, and here you go. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, nice! <laughs> now, several marks. This one right over here. Oh, Top my of lord. Made of mahogany, huh? Has silk lining over goose down there. And a night light. Mama, what about the blue one? Oh, now the blue one is nice. Oh, I don't like it. She that. don't like that one. It's a car for not an Oldsmobile. I like that one. Good taste. Oh. Uh, Maxine, uh, that costs a lot of money. Now we got payment plans. Well, can we put it in my father-in-law's name? Well, no. Brother Minister, I have to level with you. They gave me a mission, but I couldn't do it. I love you all. What kind of mission? To wire your car so it would explode when you turn the ignition. Add action. All right, now. Bradford. Yeah. What is this? Bose English test. Well, there's a mistake. Well, yeah, there are lots of mistakes. That's why there's an F on it. Uh, you know, if Bo doesn't pass, he can't play the big game Friday. Either you make this right, or you'll be spending the summer teaching drivers Ed. Honk, honk. <laughs> hey, Miss Delmar. Hey. Who oh, Mr. Abernathy got decapitated by a flying hook. Tragic, tragic! Is that his wife? Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. You don't know nobody, huh? Nobody wants your ass. You ain't got a friend, you ain't got a fucking relative, you ain't got a next door neighbor. God damn, I could punch your ass. I'll bust you in your mouth right now. Huh? What? <laughs> what? 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 Well, I'm going to bed. Oh, so what time are you going to be turning off the lights? Oh, I don't care. You can stay up all night if you want. And there's some videos over there you're welcome to watch. I got uh, Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, Dead Zone, Dead Men Don't Worry Plaid, Death in Venice, Death Wish, Love and Death, Murder by Death, and Oso Shiki, a.k.a. Death Japanese Style. Cool. Thanks.